Hi, on your phone, make sure you click the bell next to the subscribe button so you will be notified of the newest videos from Crochet Jewel. Thank you. I'm going to show you how to make this flower with a fork and yarn, and I use baby yarn size three. Okay, so let's get started. Take your yarn and wrap it around the front of your fork and then insert it in the first prong and then go back and forth and weave it back and forth. And you'll do that up to about 12 to 15 times. Okay, I'm counting about 12, but you can have about 12 to 15 strands on each row. And I'm threading my yarn needle. I'm going to take my needle and pull it through the first row of strands of yarn. And then I'm going to tie the tail together with a strand of yarn, and then you can cut the ends with your scissors. Now go to the opposite side and go down the third row with your yarn needle and pull it through. Now take your yarn needle and pull it down the last row. Go down a couple of times until you get to the end. Start at the beginning of the last row again and pull it through and then take off all of the yarn off the fork and then you're going to take your yarn needle and secure it at the bottom a few times by weaving it in and out with your yarn needle and that's how you finish the first petal. Now create the next five petals the same exact way. Attach your petals to each other with your yarn needle and the tail from the one petal. All the other tails you can cut off after you secure your ends. Now you can tighten the center with your yarn needle and the tail and pull it as tightly as you can and then weave in the back from petal to petal so it secures all the petals together. Now I took a needle and thin thread and attached the pearl because my thick yarn would not attach it. And this is how you complete the flower. You're just going to weave in and the back, back and forth. Now your flower is complete. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.
Thank you.